Let's take a look at Musée. Musée is a live wallpaper application that displays a new work of art as your background every day. If you go and check out the source code, in addition to Roman, you'll see Ian Lake listed a number of times. You might remember him from our advanced Android app development course with Joanna and Dan. Musée is a good example because it makes extensive use of dimensions files to make its UI work on multiple form factors. So I went ahead and downloaded the source code from the link listed in the instructor's notes. Now in this dimensions file, this is for the uh, tablet screen with the uh, smallest width of 600 dips. And we can see that we have a number of uh, dimensions listed in here. We also have a general dimensions file that lists many of the same properties, just with different uh, dimensions. Now, if we go to our activity, we can see how we use these dimensions. So instead of specifying the dips right here, we're using at dimin and then the name that was specified in the dimensions file. Now, Android Studio does a couple of things for you. So sometimes you'll see the dimensions like this, where they're listed in green. If you ever see a property that's listed in gray, that means that Android Studio is showing you the value that it's pointing to. So if you hover over one of these, you can see the dimension value that Android Studio is pulling from. 